this helicopter was built in 66, was um, in Vietnam, 68 to 70, 1,300 combat hours on the airframe, and we have patches of uh, bullet holes that have been repaired that are still part of the aircraft that we haven't changed. And we're even going to have Vietnam veterans here. And that's a very emotional thing for them. You figure that helicopter was their lifeblood. It took them into combat, brought them out of combat, it brought them resupplies, food, water, mail, and it even served as a medevac helicopter. We want to keep it as original as possible. And we're showcasing the, the unit that it flew with that we're, that we're representing is the 170th Assault Helicopter Company, and they flew out of Pleiku, Vietnam. 823, this is Warbird Control. I'm looking for a visual. Uh, Warbird Control, we got your left. Okay. I can hear you. Leave a whiskey copy, though. You hear that sound? That's the sound of freedom. There he is right there. Right there. I was exposed to Hueys when I went to advanced sergeant school in Camp Landing. There was a detach, a Huey detachment there, so I used to get a ride every time. Every time I wasn't working, I'd go over to the Quonset hut and see who who was going to go up in the air and put their time in. I loved what I did in the army. You know, I, I liked my job as a medic. Had the distinction of being the first woman to be to have the mechanics MOS. We used the helicopters for uh, field exercises. You know, they would take us up, a group of us that were going to uh, advanced NCO school and take us up and then learn how to get on the helicopters and get off the helicopters when they're, when they're just hovering above the ground. That's the sound of Vietnam. I went to Army Flight School in 1968. Like, all it does is give me a big smile. Everybody today, everybody that got off that helicopter, they were all smiling too. Especially the veterans. And that's what it's all about.